Okay, ready for plate? I'm so excited about this. Do I start with it closed or do I start with it open? Hi, I'm Kalina Bliss. I'm the executive chef at the Thompson Hotel in Seattle. And today, we're cooking up some beef substitute. Welcome to Beef Substitutes, where we beef up classic dishes. So today, we're going to take an all-American classic, a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, and we're going to put a little spin on it. So we're going to make a Colby-inspired braised beef short rib sandwich. There's a couple different cuts that you can use here, but my favorite to transform this dish is using a short rib. When it's braised, it just has this uh, rich, fatty, texture um, that works so perfect for this sandwich. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the heat up to high and get this pan nice and screaming hot. Uh, you want it super hot so that when you're searing the beef, uh, you get a good sear on it and you also get a little bit of fond in the pan, which is gonna help build layers of flavor. So once it's dry, we're gonna take some salt and some black pepper and season it heavily. We're just gonna go ahead and cut it into some larger chunks right here. And I'm going to add a little oil to my pan, and we're going to go ahead and sear that. So what I usually do is take a piece of the meat, and I can kind of test it. So when you hear that sound, you know your pan's pretty hot. Uh, with the size of this pot, I'm going to go ahead and just do uh, four pieces at a time, and then let the meat uh, kind of caramelize. And then we'll remove it, and then we'll go ahead and add the other four pieces. So you can start to see uh, the caramelization happening but I'm gonna take this even further. Uh, the more caramelized you get the meat in this process, the more flavor your overall sauce is gonna have. And the idea with these smaller pieces is to get a sear on every side or as much of the surface area as possible. I know it's tempting to you wanna sit there and kind of touch it, but uh, if you just leave it, it'll do the work on its own. The last four pieces are pretty well seared. So again, I'm gonna Go ahead and remove them from the pot and we'll put them right over here with the other pieces just to sit for a second. Okay, so now uh, you have this wonderful rendered beef fat. Your pan should still be pretty hot. I'm actually going to reduce the heat just a little bit and I'm going to take uh, my yellow onion and go ahead and throw it in there. You can see already how they're getting coated with the seasoning from the short rib and some of the beef fat, which is exactly what we want. You can kind of see how the onions are becoming just slightly caramelized. They're a little translucent. They're very aromatic. So we're going to go ahead and add our ginger and our garlic. So I know it seems like a lot of garlic and ginger, but this is really what's going to add some fragrance. I'm just going to cook the ginger and the garlic for a couple minutes, and you can already smell it. If you're cooking this, you can really smell it throughout the entire room right now, so that's exactly what you're looking for. We're going to add all of our spices, so the peppercorns, the star anise, and then we're going to go ahead and add the uh, gochujang, or the Korean chili paste. So this is where the dish gets a little bit of its spice and also uh, that umami burst. I think the gochujang really helps uh, make this the perfect sauce um, for this braised beef dish because it kind of has that sticky, sweet element that we're finding in a you know, barbecued pulled pork sandwich. So we're just kind of doing a play on it. I feel like you kind of get the same sticky sweet element, uh, but we're also adding all these layers of fermentation and umami and some spiciness. So we're just kind of building the flavors, but in a different way. We're gonna add some soy sauce and we're gonna add the fish sauce. We're gonna go ahead and add our short ribs back to the sauce. We're gonna kind of nestle the short ribs in this mirepoix sauce mixture. Add enough veal stock so that it just covers the short ribs. Now that our sauce base is made, we have the short ribs in. Next step is we're going to throw it in the oven. This is the easy part. Now that the short rib is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and set a timer for two, two and a half hours. We'll check it after two. Um, and we're just gonna let it cook. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our garnishes to finish the sandwich. We're gonna go ahead and get in the oven and check on our short rib. 
smells good. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, the short ribs are nice and tender. The liquid has reduced a little bit. It's a little thicker. Um, it's very aromatic. The easiest way, I think, to shred the meat is just to use two forks. It's just kind of nice and thick and saucy and juicy, which is exactly what we want. Really good, really tender. You get that kind of umami kick from the fish sauce. You get a little spiciness. It's like nice and sweet and sticky. I'm really happy with it. I like to start with the short rib on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add a healthy portion of the short rib. And I like to kind of load these. <laughs> We're celebrating beef after all. So I'm going to add a nice handful of the cabbage for some crunch. Don't worry about being too messy. They're supposed to be fun to eat. It's like comfort food. And then we're going to add some of the pickled onion here. I'm going to finish with the herbs. I like to add a lot of herbs. All right. And I like them when they're stacked super tall like that. I think they look really nice. There we have it. Uh, called the Inspired uh, Braised Short Rib Sandwich. Thanks for joining me today for Beef Substitutes. I hope you come by my restaurant soon and say hi. So if you want to make this recipe or check out some more Beef Substitutes, head to beefitswhatsfordinner.com.